DepEd Vision. We dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose values and competencies enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. As a learner center public institution, the Department of Education continuously improves itself to better serve its stakeholders. DepEd Mission to protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education where students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner, administrators, and staff as stewards of the institution ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Deped core values, maka Diyos, maka tao, maka kalikasan, at makabansa. Isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa pagre-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks Klase sa Gramatika Speech Class Financial Literacy At marami pang iba Pinalawig din ng itulay Ang ating Alive Program Para sa mga mag-aaral Mula Grade 1 hanggang Grade 3 Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS Program At Fed Tutorials Na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat Ang Inclusive Education May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes, mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor match. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and SPED learners. Aside from answering the modules, the ETULAI is offering programs which we will surely look forward to, together with our parents and teachers. The Itulai will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! It's a 
the Jovia Tuesday afternoon tutees. Welcome to Dapat Itulay online tutorial program. This is Tutor Jovi guiding bright minds to be English proficient. Ready at ang sa sabing pagdidagdag ng learning. Kayo nga dumugtong. <laughs> Nagiging mas magaling. Hello tutees. I'm so happy to be here once again. Na excited talaga ako kahit puyat ako kagabi kasi may ginawa si teacher, si tutor pero alive na alive tayo ngayon kasi excited ako na makasama kayo ulit at ramdam na ramdam ko ang pagmamahal ng bawat isa. Welcome na welcome po kayo dito lahat sa ating live session this afternoon at 2.20 p.m. Kasama natin si Tutor Ruby na maya-maya ay papasok lamang. Okay? Now, tutees, ayan, don't forget every Tuesday because Tuesday is Choose English Day. That will be our Tuesday habit at 2.20 to 3 p.m. Kasama natin si Tutor Ruby Lin from SDO Lapu Lapu City and yours truly, Tutor Joey from SDO Butuan City. Now, tutees, ayan, nandito na tayo sa so week 5! <gasps> And on June 20 to 24 will be our recognition week. Kaya naman, Chutis, don't forget to please like and share our session this afternoon so that we can reach more viewers and more audiences as well. <laughs> Ramdam niyo po ba yung energy? <laughs> Ayan, napaka-energy ati kasi ng mga Chutis natin ngayon. Nagpa-flood comment. I would just like to greet our viewers today. Dagli ang greetings lang for one minute. Gusto kong batiin. si. Kurt Axel, at saka si Teacher Darwin Santillas, always watching pag may time talaga, na-appreciate natin si Teacher Darwin. And also, Avana Polos, ayan, chutis kasi nagpa-flood nagpa-flood comment, nagpa-flood yung comments sa ating comment section, kaya, I'm bless, bless, you're so fast. Ate Katleya, nakita ko kanina si Kurt Rubin, siya yung nanguna kanina, and I would like also to thank those chutis who watched and joined in our quarter three recognition program last Saturday. Kahit na inulan tayo, binagyo man tayo, nagka-LPA man tayo, but then you warmed our hearts. So thank you, thank you so much, Chutis. And thank you so much, Kuya Kerubin and Kuya Joseph Bulaklak. Ayan, meron tayong mga viewers dito, si Nalea De Vera, Rowan Salarzon Gatmin, Uh, Marnyal Cal, hello! At saka birthday pala ni Ate Katleya ngayon. <laughs> happy, happy birthday, Ate Katleya! Now, Chutis, you know the drill? You mention your friends. At saka your friends from the other school. Yung naging classmates nyo na dito sa ating session. Yung mga kapwa nyo, Chutis. Kahit nasa ibang panig man ng bansa. Now, mention them. Kindly write, type, I am happy you are here. And mention. Sige nga, ako, sabihin ko, I am happy you are here. Tutor Bai, who is at the backstage right now. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tutor Bai, sa pagsalo ng ating session ngayon. And to all my tutors, fellow tutors in English Junior High School, to to Sir Arnell, to Teacher Drazel, to Tutor Ellie, Tutor Job, Tutor Rem, and Tutor Judah, and our program head, Tutor May. Ayan. Sige nga, tingnan nga natin. I am happy you are here. Sir Darwin Sintilias. Ayan. Plus points po yan, Sir Darwin, sa mga <laughs> taga Ocampo National High School. Ayan. Mention Tutis, okay? I am happy you are here. Ayan. Very nice. All right. Now, We want to showcase and flex to everyone the amazing English outputs of our exemplary tutors for the week. So, of course, we have here from Kurt Axel M. Furok, a very outstanding student and a very performing one. Congratulations, Kuya! At salamat sa pagbandera ng Don Mariano Marcos National High School from SDO Isabella. Know that your teachers and classmates or schoolmates are proud of you. Of course, we also have another outputs. Output here, okay, a synthesized paragraph from Avana Polos of Ocampo National High School, SDO Camarina Sur. Thank you so much, Avana, for again bringing honor and pride to your school and to your teacher, Sir Darwin Santillas. Good job, everyone. Nabasa ko yung synthesis ninyo. At I can already say that you can already. Become independent in writing your own synthesis. Good job, everyone. High five nga dyan. Pak, pak, pak. <laughs> Very nice. Keep up the good work. And to all other tutees who wish, again, to submit their outputs, please, please, we would be very delighted to read some of your outputs. Okay, pa? 
Ayan. All right, so let's proceed. Now, these are our amazing English duties of the week. Ayan, pabilisan lang. Kurt Axel Farok, Marnial Cal, Christopher Andrew Respeso, Ryan Jake Saliba, Jalen Rose, De Guzman, Katlea Soriano, the birthday celebrant today, Leonardo Angeles, Brian Iraula, Ken Santo Domingo, Monique Duque, Norlin Verdadero, Sonny Boy Idigpio, Lea De Vera, and Raven Manuel. Congratulations! Sana magdagan pa natin yung mga amazing English duties of the week. Kaya naman, tumutok po kayo from the start until the end of our session. So we started this program together, so it is just to end this together. Okay po ba? Ayan. All right. And of course, these are amazing English schools. You can take a screenshot and then send this to your <laughs> high five po. <laughs> Thank you, Avana. At saka sa ibang chutis chan. <laughs> Good job. Now you can take a screenshot and you can send this to your classmates or to your teachers or your principals so that they would know that their schools are recognized. So thank you, thank you so much to these amazing English schools. Now, chutis, handa na ba kayo sa ating review? Hmm, what did we discuss last time? Ano yung pinag-usapan natin noong nakaraang linggo? And this is what you're going to do. Directions. Read each item carefully. Type T if the statement is true and F if it is not or if it is false. Okay? Now, truth is, mabilisan lang natin para makaabot tayo at makapag-discuss pa tayo sa ating new lesson ngayon. Okay? Now, al alam ko naman na you're very fast. You're so quick. <laughs> yung siguro nga naglalaro kayo ng, ng, ano, ng Mobile Legends. Diba? Nakikita ko yung mga estudyante ko sa paralan namin. Ang bibilis ng mga, ng mga kamay nila. <laughs> Yan. Let's have number one. Yan. Handa na po. Handa na po. Let's have number one. Synthesizing is combining pieces of information from multiple sources to see connections among ideas and create new understanding about a certain topic. Is it true or false? Don't forget po, okay? The number and T or F, okay? Synthesizing is combining pieces of information from multiple sources to see connections among ideas and create new understanding about it. Ayan, nangunguna na naman po si Kuya Kurt Axel and he answered T together with Katleya, Avana, Emmanuel, Tarosa. Hello, Kuya Emmanuel! Long time no see! And the correct answer is, that's good. Amazing job. It's true. Diba? Synthesizing is combining those pieces of information from the several sources that you got those information and then create or develop a new concept about it. Number two, synthesizing is same with summarizing. Number two, synthesizing is same with summarizing. Tingnan natin. For number two, tingnan natin sa ating stream yard kasi real time yung stream yard natin. Hello, Ate Kimberly Manawag! Welcome back! Ayan, nangunguna na naman si Kuya Christopher Andrew Vespeso, um, followed by Katlea, Marniel, Emmanuel, Mar Ay, ayan, si Ambilis. <laughs> and the correct answer is, that's right, it's false. Hindi po sila magkapareho. Okay? Summarizing is not synthesizing. Synthesizing is not also summarizing. Okay? Number three, the final step in the REST method is to think about your new ideas and connect them to what is already known. Okay? What is the final step? All right? In the REST method. Yan. Type nga natin. Tingnan natin sa StreamYard. Okay, Ati Katlea answered first. Teet, followed by Avana, Marniel, Kurt Axel, um, Leia De Vera, Jasmine Batad. And the correct answer is T. Very good. Aha, aha. <laughs> Nakakatawa naman yung mga scores and answers ninyo. Let's have number four. Synthesizing is grouping similar ideas and taking note of different ideas to present a balanced study of the literature on the topic being studied. Okay? Synthesizing is grouping similar ideas and taking note of different ideas to present a balanced study of the literature. Tingnan natin na naman. Do we have number four? Hello, Tumel Kayabiyab. Ayan na nguna this time si Ate Marniel and he, she answered T or two. That's correct, Ati Marniel. Good job. Followed by Ati Katlea, Ati Lea Devera, Kurt Axel. Good job. We have 
Okay, let's have number number five. Number five na ba tayo? Yes, number five na po tayo, Tutor Jovi. Kasi na-excite kami. Let's have number five. A synthesis can form a new understanding. Something readers have not yet discovered considering before until reading various texts. A synthesis can form a new understanding. Something that the reader or the listener, kung sa sulat man, a reader doesn't have any idea about or hasn't discovered it yet. Okay? Do we have an answer already from our stream yard? Number five, at nanguna uli si Ate Marniel, and she answered true, followed by Ate Katleya, and the correct answer is... Very nice, everyone. Good job. It's letter T. Dahil mainit ngayon, gusto ko makakita ng ice cream sa comment section. <laughs> now, two T's. Type the number of ice creams. Okay? The cones of ice creams or ice creams. Kung ano man yung makita nyo sa emoji or emoticons niyo that correspond to your scores. Ayan si Kuya Kurt Axel T. <laughs> <laughs> Kuya Kurt, <laughs> tinatanong, T? <laughs> yeah, that's you're right, Kuya. I don't know if you're just guessing, but you are right. Good job, everyone. Good job, Kimberly Manawag, Marnial Cal, Havana. Now, type again the number of ice creams that correspond to your scores. Yan, Ati Marnial got five. Binigyan naman ako ni Ati Jasmine ng five hearts at saka... Um, ni Kuya Christopher. <laughs> Ayan, ang sarap-sarap mag-ice cream ngayon. Ayan. Treat ko kayo, Chutis, pag, ano, magkita tayo. <laughs> Alan. Now, Chutis, welcome to our week five topic. We're done with the week one, week two, week three, week four. Now, Chutis, kung ano man yung na-learn, kung ano na kung ano yung natutunan natin in the previous topics or the previous weeks, let's try to incorporate them in our new topic because those topics, those prior, those previous topics are very important in composing effective paragraphs. All right? So welcome to our quarter four, week five topic, which is composing effective paragraphs. And we would like to thank once again SDO Onavodas and SDO Zamboanga for allowing us to use their module as our references for this session. And Jutis, ito yung objectives that we need to attain. First, we need to define what paragraph is. That's very important. Two, identify the basic structure of an effective paragraph. Third, understand the essential elements of an effective paragraph. Kasi how would we be able to make it very effective? How can we compose an effective paragraph if we won't understand the basic or the essential elements needed? And of course, at the end of this lesson, you are expected po to create your own effective paragraph. That's why we should listen carefully para naman we would know okay, how to make our own paragraphs effectively. Yan. Now, Chutis, meron akong activity dito. Tapos na tayo sa ice cream kanina. Punta naman tayo sa burger. Now, make your unique version of a burger. Type the number of ingredients on the comment section to note the way they are layered. Alright? Meron akong ingredients dito, Chutis. Ah, oh, nagugutom ba kayo? Nagugutom din ako ngayon. <laughs> Saka gusto ko kumain ng ice cream kasi nga ang init-init. Kaya nga, um, I tied my hair kasi nga ang init-init. Now, type chutis the order of the number. Okay po? For example, if you wish to have it, uh, the, the, the top bun. Ano yung sunod ng top bun? Okay? Gusto nyo ba? Tomatoes or tomatoes? Those are two acceptable pronunciations to chutis. Okay? So, you can have this order 2, 1, 3, 5, 6, 4. Depende sa inyo. Okay? Now, sa akin, Chutis, gusto ko yung top bun. Ayan, meron akong burger dito na laruan. Tsaka gusto ko right after the top bun is, uh, ano, tomato or tomatoes or tomatoes. And then, followed by the cheese. Gusto ko yan. <laughs> Ayan, nagugutom na. At saka yung patty. Tingnan nyo, ang, ang juicy ng ano ko, <laughs> ng burger ko. At saka gusto ko naman para healthy. Gusto ko ng lettuce at saka yung bottom bun. Ito yung gusto ko pagkagawa ng burger ko. Paano naman sa inyo, Chutis? Ayan, according to Antoinette Hernandez, 
Gusto niya buns, tomatoes, lettuce, patties, cheese, and then the bottom bun. Very good. I love that, Antoinette T. Hernandez. Paano naman yun sila, ano, Ate Lea? What about you, Kuya Kurt? Kay Ate Marnial naman, 256314. Kay Ate Kathlea na nag-birthday ngayon, 415362. Okay? 415362. Oh, yeah. Pwede din. Kay Ate Marnial naman, 256314. 256314. Yes, that's good. And... Kay Ate Abana, 263-154. So see, iba-iba tayo ng pagkagawa ng ating burger. But, okay? So, kay Teacher Joey, it's 216-354. Kahit ano pa naman yung gusto nyong uh, pagkasunod-sunod ng layer ng burger, alam ko, masarap na masarap yan kasi ginawa nyo yan out from the heart. So, Nagugutom na talaga ako, <laughs> Chutis. So, see, kahit iba-iba man tayo, okay? Iba-iba man tayo ng paggagawa ng ating mga burgers, alam natin na masarap ito. Okay? Now, Chutis, how is a burger's structure similar with that of an effective paragraph? Gaya nito. Hmm. Okay? So, you can type your insight in our comment section, Chutis, okay? Paano nga ba ang... Um, struktura ng burger na papahilintulad sa isang napaka-epektibong paragraph. Okay? Ang hina na signal ko po, ma'am. It's okay, Ate Abana. <laughs> Lumalaban. Lalaban tayo. Itutulay natin to at the end of the session. Okay? Sige nga. Type nga. How is this um, how is this burger? Okay? Similar to that, with that of an effective paragraph, deserve. <laughs> Bakit Ate Gihana Santos Labaw? <laughs> Bakit deserve ni Abana na mahina ang signal? Ayan. Oh, we have already from Buhangin National High School, SD Bulacan. Hello, Ate Antoinette. Happy watching. If you can mention your friends and classmates, okay? Alright. Now, Chutis. That Burger, or this a burger, is likened to an effective paragraph. And let's find out how, okay? Paragraph. What is a paragraph? It is a group of sentences that talks about a main idea, right? It starts with a topic sentence that expresses the paragraph's key thought or the main idea, kung ano yung pinag-uusapan, uh, kung ano yung um, main thought. This main idea is discussed further in the sentences that follow called supporting sentences. And to elaborate that further or to, under, to deepen our understanding about it, an effective paragraph must have unity, coherence, and adequate details, which we will, be discuss, we will discuss later. Okay, we will discuss later. Now, ito na yung basic structure of a paragraph and we likened it or the paragraph, a structure of a paragraph is akin to a burger. Paano ba, Chutor? Yung unang bun, ito Chut, is the top bun, is the topic sentence. Ano nga yung topic sentence? It is a complete sentence that expresses the main idea of the paragraph. Okay? It's the main thought, the key thought, the main idea. It's a topic sentence. Yung gitna naman, yung mga tomatoes or tomatoes, the cheese, the patty, and the lettuce. Yung iba nga, meron pang egg, tsaka yung iba, meron pang cucumber, di ba? But, but for me, I love, I love already this one, this combination of layers here. <laughs> Eto naman ang tinatawag natin na body. Okay? Pagkatapos ng topic sentence is the body. Ano naman ang uh, what is included or what consists of the body? It contains now the supporting details. Kaya nga, di ba, sinabi natin kanina na yung main idea ay ine-explain further through supporting sentences. Ito na yung mga examples, evidences, relevant facts, reasons, incidents, and specific information to support the main idea. Okay? 
Okay, babalikan ko po ha. Ito po yung, yung top one natin ay ang ating topic sentence. Yung tomatoes, uh, cheese, patty, at saka lettuce, this will serve as our body. Now, what does body consist? It consists the supporting sentences or supporting details that further elaborate our topic sentence para mas maintindihan natin ang main idea. It needs supporting details. Okay? So, ano yung magiging supporting details natin? It can be an example, an evidence, relevant fact, reason, incident, and specific information. Now, after our top bun and this body here will be our bottom bun. Okay? Ito na yung conclusion. Very good. It summarizes now the main points or restates the topic sentence in different words. So yung conclusion natin, Chutis, babalikan or we should revisit the topic sentence, okay? We revisit the topic sentence so that we can reword the main idea that, sum, that could summarize the main points, okay? Parang we just reiterating the topic sentence, but we are restating it in different words. I hope that's very clear. All right, Chutis? Okay? So that is the basic structure of a paragraph. So noon, nung, nung kagaya nyo ako grade 8, hindi ako masyado confident talaga sa aking paragraph kasi ito yung mga, ito yung mga ginagawa namin noon or ginagawa ng mga ng mga, halos ng mga estudyante ngayon. They copy-paste several sources. Tama po ba? Tapos, they, they do not, um, sometimes we neglect already saan yung topic sentence, na saan yung mga supporting details. Kasi sa atin noon, pag mahaba na yung paragraph, okay na, pwede na natin ipasa kay teacher. Pero hindi pala. Kailangan pala nating suriing mabuti if our paragraph has a topic sentence, a body, and a conclusion. Okay po ba? Kasi ito yung usual, babalikan ko po, ito po yung usual na ginagamit ng mga estudyante. They get sentences from different sources. <laughs> I don't know if guilty po ba kayo dito kasi guilty po ako nung bata pa ako nung, when I was still in grade 8 or in high school. Ito, guilty po talaga ako. Kumukuha ako ng mga sentences from various sources. Tapos pinagtatagpi-tagpi ko lang. Tapos pag binasa ko, hindi, oh, hindi ko maintindihan kasi pinagtagpi-tagpi ko lang. Hindi naman walang relasyon yung topic sentence ko, yung sumunod na sentence, at saka sumunod na sentence, at saka yung conclusion. Kaya, siguro, hindi nagustuhan ng guro ko yung mga paragraphs na pinasa ko. Kasi yun yung ginagawa ko. Hindi pala dapat. Dapat sinunod ko yung structure ng burger. So, just think of the burger. Okay, Chutis? Now, well, we can have, yes, walang connect. You're right, Ate Katleya. Now, let's have all right, an example para mas maintindihan natin, okay? Now, the topic is all about rats. Meron ba kayo mga rats sa bahay? Wala naman kami dito so far, okay? So, the topic sentence is, Through the centuries, rats have managed to survive all our efforts to destroy them. In other words, Chutis, um, throughout the centuries, uh, for a long, long time ago, kahit na anong gin ginagawa na natin para mapuksa ang mga ang mga rats, okay? Mga dagap. Sa, ano, sa bahay, they still manage to survive. Okay? That's the topic sentence. That's the main thought. Now, ano kaya yung magiging body natin to support the topic sentence na hindi mamatay-matay ang mga rats kahit na ano ng mga effort natin or energy, time, or kahit na anong ginagawa natin para mapuksa ang mga daga. Okay? We have supporting sentence number one. We have poisoned and trapped them. Yes, gumagamit tayo ng mga poison na bibili natin, di ba? At saka yung, yung trap. Okay? Supporting sentence number two, we have fumigated, flooded, and burned them. Three, we have tried germ warfare. Pero wala pa rin. Okay? Now, ano yung magiging laban pa din globe? Yes, Ate Abana, laban ka din dyan. <laughs> Nakaku La Lea de Ver, nakakulong po. Yes, ginagawan, ginawa na natin lahat, di ba? Kinulong, um, nilason, we burned them, right? At saka kahit na yung maliliit na mga daga, pinupuksa na, we have tried germ warfare. 
But still, okay, according to the topic sentence, they are they still able to survive. Okay, they're still alive kahit anong gawin natin. Now, ano nga yung magiging conclusion natin? We restate, okay, to this, we restate the main idea in different words. In other words, we summarize the topic sentence. Tingnan nga natin sa sentence na ito, okay? These enemies continue to win over our actions to eradicate them, proving how indestructible they can be despite all our efforts to wipe them out. To see, Chutis, we revisit the topic sentence. It's restating the conclusion. Okay? These enemies continue to win over our actions to eradicate them, proving how indestructible they can be despite all our efforts to wipe them out. Right? So you summar this conclusion uh, summarizes um, the supporting sentences, right? Paano na yung mga pamaraan natin kung paano ito, paano uh, maagapan ang pagdami o pag pagdami ng mga daga and then restating the topic sentence in other words okay despite all our efforts to wipe them out yes okay so i hope that's really clear chutis okay yan mention nyo nyo nga yung friends nyo na nandito or kahit wala pa nandito na, sa ating session sabihin nyo i am happy you are here mention nyo okay now chutis Tapos na tayo sa basic structure. Just think of the burger. Ngayon naman, para mas madagdagan pa natin ang um, effectivity or quality ng ating paragraph, we need to bear in mind these three essential elements. When we say essential elements, ano po, um, napaka-importanting elements, okay? Alam namin na sa ibang sources, mas, mas madami pang essential elements, but we focus for the sake of our tutorial and in the interest of time, we'll just focus on three, alright? So these are the three essential elements of an effective paragraph. Una, unity, okay? All sentences in the paragraph are related to the topic sentence. Now, Chutis, balikan natin yung experience ko noong bata pa ako, nung kagaya niyo ako. Sabi niyo, hindi ba, walang connect. Yes, kasi yung ginagawa ko, pinagtagpi-tagpi ko lang yung mga sentences na kinukuha ko, tapos hindi naman sila connect. Okay, There's, there was no unity at all. Kaya hindi siguro uh, naintindihan ng mga mambabasa at saka ng guro ko noon. Okay? So, unity is very important. And how do we attain that? We should make sure that all the sentences are related to the topic sentence. Gaya ng rats kanina, okay? Yung topic sentence na um, kahit anong gawin natin, hindi pa rin sila mapu mapuksa. Tsaka yung sent supporting sentences, yung mga ginagawa natin, okay, na pamaraan. The paragraph focuses only on a single idea, point, or argument. That's unity. Yes, related to the topic sentence. Very good, Jasmine Batad. Okay? Punta naman tayo sa coherence. Okay? All the paragraph sentences should be related to one another in concept. Alright? There's logic. Okay? There's logic. There's a, yung pagka after ng topic sentence, there's a relevance to the next sentence, and so on and so forth. Alright? An effective paragraph becomes coherent using conjunctions as traditional. Transitional devices. Chutis, can you still remember those conjunctions that we discussed? I guess that was second quarter, I guess. Okay, so these transitional devices would help us um, make our paragraph effective by using these conjunctions as transitional devices. And these are some of the common transitional devices. You know, there's logic, okay? You know, there's relevance. Okay, so these are our transition words and some examples. So we have their time, sequence, space, illustration, comparison, contrast, cause and effect, and conclusion. Okay, Chutis? So this is just a refresher. And you can take a screenshot also for you to use uh, this table of transition words when you make your effective paragraphs later. And the third one adequate details 
A paragraph should have supporting sentences that have enough and related details to the topic sentence. You might be asking, teacher, a tutor, ilang, ilang supporting sentences kaya ideally or usually? Truth is, usually, there should be three supporting sentences or details that further explain the topic sentence. Okay po ba? The rule of three. Okay, it's always the rule of three. An effective paragraph is adequately developed when it has supporting sentences that describe, explain, and support the topic sentence. So I hope that's really clear, Chutis, okay? So these are the essential elements of an effective paragraph. Now, this might be your question as well, okay? Avana, Lea de Vera, Catlea, sige nga. Uh, um, bahin nga natin ng heart. React ang ating comment section. You might be asking, teacher, how long is a paragraph? Okay? Um, yun nga, yung sinabi natin kanina, no? Yung uh, when I shared to you na kapag ma mataas yung thinking ko noon, kapag mataas yung paragraph, siguro malaki yung marka ko dito. Hindi pala. Hindi pala. How long is a paragraph? There's no definite an answer to that. But truth is, a single paragraph, okay? A single paragraph usually has three to five sentences. Enough for your topic sentence, supporting details, and then conclusion. Tama ba? Okay? Five sentences, approximately, ideally, usually, in one paragraph. Enough for your topic sentence, supporting details, and your conclusion. And a paragraph of quality contains detailed and coherent ideas and concepts. Okay? Now, when to begin a new paragraph? Ito. <laughs> Kahit po brief or short lang, as long as it's connected. That's all right, Ate Avana. You're right. I agree with you. Now, when to begin a new paragraph? Kasi pala, napansin nyo, Chutis, pag nagbabasa tayo ng matataas or lengthy paragraph, parang, parang, hindi na natin naiintindihan kasi nga, the, the, all the ideas are lumped in that lengthy paragraph. Kaya pag binasa natin, napapagod tayo agad. By looking at it, kasi mataas, hindi na tayo nagbabasa. Hindi ba? So, when to begin a new paragraph, Chutis, okay? Okay, you should start a new paragraph when you begin a new idea. Very good, Kuya Kurt, Axel. New ideas should always start in new paragraphs. If you have an extended idea that spans multiple paragraphs, each new point within that idea should have its own paragraph. Galing, Okay. Ayan. Yes, ang dami-dami ng palikuli ko kasi nga nasa isang paragraph lang lahat. Kailangan pala natin siyang i-chunk, okay? Now, when to begin a new paragraph? Yes, that's right. Kuya Kurt Axel, yung sabi niya, when we are transitioning to a new idea. Second, when we are presenting a contrasting idea. Kaya, pag contrast, gumagamit tayo ng... However, on the other hand, yung mga transition devices na yun. And when we want to separate a lengthy paragraph, which ideas is separable from the previous paragraph, okay? Now, truth is, keep practicing writing. Manonotice nyo talaga yan. Um, you would be able to develop that na, ah, pala, bagong idea ko na to. Bagong idea na hindi na siya related sa first paragraph. So, I need to make it to the second paragraph. Ah, meron palang contrasting idea. So, kailangan kong, ah, uh, kailangan ko tong ipasok sa susunod na paragraph. Okay po? Okay. So, I hope that's really, really clear. Alright? So, Chutis, handa na ba tayo sa ating assessment ngayon? Paulanan nga natin ng... Gusto ko ng burger. <laughs> Gusto ko ng burger. Paula na natin ng burger ang comment section to let me know if you are all ready for our assessment. Babalikan natin. Okay, so sort of ano, a recap. The basic structure of a paragraph, just think of the uh, burger, the topic sentence, the body, and the conclusion. And there are three Elements, essential elements of an effective paragraph. Unity, coherence, and adequate details. How long is a paragraph? Um, how long is a paragraph? 
three to five sentences. That will do usually, okay? At saka, dagdag ko lang din, chutis, most likely, okay, the position of a topic sentence, most likely, ha, or usually, they, they start, okay, in the initial part, okay, or they are positioned in the initial part of the paragraph, okay? Para, Pagbasahin na ng basahin na ng mga ng mga readers, they would know where the topic sentence is, okay? But that doesn't mean that the topic sentence cannot be placed in the middle or uh, at the bottom. They can be placed really anywhere. But ideally or usually topic sentences are placed in the initial part of the yan, ang dami ng burgers dito. <laughs> ang daming burgers. Thank you, Chutis. Now, this is what you're going to do. Directions. Read each item carefully. Type the number and the letter of the correct answer. Number one. Okay, ready? Ready na, ready na? Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. How to achieve coherence in paragraph writing? A, by focusing on a single topic. B, by using logically connected sentences. C, by providing relevant fact, reason, and examples. Or D, by providing specific information that helps a reader understand the main idea. Okay, how to achieve coherence in a paragraph? Do you have an answer? Don't forget the number and the letter of the correct answer. All right? Yeah. Hello po, and while we are waiting, hello po to all students who are watching from Ramon National High School. Yan po, hello, welcome, welcome. Now, Chutis, how to achieve coherence? All right, Antoinette Hernandez already answered letter D, and the correct answer is, do you have an, another answer or other answers from our Chutis? Kurt, Jasmine, Christopher, Andrew, Leia, Kathleya. Avana answered also letter D. Okay, the answer is by using logically connected sentences. Okay, Chutis. Coherence, how relevant the sentences are with one another by using logically connected sentences. Okay, that's okay, Chutis. By providing specific information that helps a reader understand the main idea, okay, it could fall under Sanba by providing specific information. Okay, supporting details, adequate details. All right. Coherence is logically connection of sentences, logical connection of sentences. All right. Okay, let's have a number two. Which of the following statement describes unity in a paragraph? Unity this time. A, all sentences discuss different views. B, all sentences support the main idea. C, all sentences in a paragraph are arranged logically. Or D, all sentences in a paragraph are related to the topic sentence. Okay. Unity. Tingnan nga natin. Alright. What's your answer, Chutis? Alright. Kayang yakang yakayan. We can do it. When we say unity. <laughs> do you already have an answer here in our stream yard? Ayan, hindi ko, na, hindi ko na notice ang time. Masaya-saya kasi ng discussion. Okay, we have already an answer. Letter D, and the correct answer is, yan. yes, that's right. Letter D, you are correct. Jasmine Batad, Adelaia De Vera, Kurt Axel, Avana, Christopher Respeso, Katleya. Ayan, good job. Ati Jasmine, that's really okay. Kahit, uh, uh, kahit we committed mistakes, we learn from our mistakes, right? It's okay. Let's have number three. Which of these choices is true about the concluding sentence? A. It restates the topic sentence. B. It comes after the topic sentence. C. It provides an overview of the paragraph. Or D. It gives details to develop the topic sentence. Okay? Which of these choices is true about the concluding sentence or conclusion, Chutis? Don't forget to type the number and the letter of the correct answer. Do we have an answer? Ayan, ang una this time. Si Ate Avana, letter A. 
followed by Ate Katleya, the birthday celebrant. Sana Ate Katleya, magpa-burger ka naman sa comment section. Right, Chutis? Greet nyo sa Ate Katleya, okay? <laughs> Alright. And the correct answer is... Letter A. Good job. It restates the topic sentence in different words or using different words. Good job. Let's have number four. Which of the choices below is not the supporting sentence of the given topic sentence? The topic sentence duties is African termites have beneficial uses. African termites have beneficial uses. Ano dito? Saan sa dalawa? Ang hindi. Okay? Supporting sentence. A. A type of termite has been found to improve the quality of the soil. B. There are approximately 2,000 termite species, all of them varying in shape, size, and behavior. Okay? So, we have an answer already. Po burger na ati Kat, sabi daw ni ati Abana. Ayan. Masaya talaga ako pag nagiging friends kayo dito. Kasi, gust- Kasi di ba, when you grow old or when you grow up, maybe 10 years from now, you might see each other ba? Right? In person. Okay. So, sabi niyo, di ba, ikaw yung kaitulay ko? Di ba? Alright, do we have an answer? Yes! It's letter B. That's very obvious, right? African termites have beneficial uses. So, sentence A is a supporting sentence of that topic sentence. But B is not. Good job. Let's have number five. Ito. This time naman, Chutis, using the following supporting sentences, generate the best topic sentence. Ito yung mga supporting sentences. During the day, tourists enjoy walking on the white sand that sparkles in the sunlight. Two, tourists indulge in an adrenaline-pumping activity such as parasailing, windsurfing, and kiteboarding. And three, at night, the beaches come alive with fascinating sand sculptures. Okay, now, chutis. Saan dito sa dalawa could be the best topic sentence uh, from out from these supporting details presented? A. Tourists can enjoy many relaxing activities in Boracay. B. Boracay is the hottest beach destination in Asia. Okay, what's your answer? Wow, we have already an answer from Ate Avana. It's letter A. Lumalaban yung globe mo, Ate Avana. <laughs> Followed by at Kuya Christopher Andrew Espeso, Kuya Kurt Axel, Alright, Leia De Vera. Good job. Tingnan nga natin if your answers are all correct. Yeah! Tourists can enjoy, can enjoy many relaxing activities in Boracay. That's all right. Yeah. Now, chutis. Hmm. Fries naman. Comment nyo nga <laughs> ilang fries yung nakuha nyo sa ating assessment activity. Fries naman to show your um scores in the comment section. Paulit-ulit nga pumam yung comment. <laughs> paulit, yeah, paulit-ulit nga. Bakit? <laughs> Ayan, hello, Ate Marnia. Um, how did you fare in our assessment? Kuya Kurt Axel, comment nga ng number of fries. French fries po sa ating comment section. <laughs> Tingnan nga natin. Ayan, go, 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 chutis. Alright. Okay. Ayan. Ang saya-saya ng discussion. Hindi ko na malayan ng oras. Pasensya na po. Now, to wrap up, yeah, and Avana Pauls got five, Katlea got four, Kurt Axel got four, Marnielka got four. That's okay. Good job, everyone. That's amazing. That's still 94%, 92%, 90 90%. Yeah. All right. Now, truth is to wrap up or to sum up our learning today, write three key takeaways that make your mind full. Kung nabusog ba yung mga, <laughs> yung mga brains natin ngayon. Okay? Number one, a paragraph has three parts. Ano-ano yon The topic sentence, the body, and the conclusion. The essential elements of an effective paragraph are unity, coherence, and adequate details. And the conclusion is, ngayon, Okay, the summary, okay? And the restatement of the topic sentence. And, of course, um, 
a summary as well of the supporting details in the body. Yeah! Good job, duties. Ang saya-saya natin ngayon. Thank you, thank you so much. I hope you learned something out from our um, session this afternoon. And let's find out whether we truly attained our objectives this afternoon. We defined what a paragraph is. That's correct. We identified the basic structure using the burger. We understood the essential elements of an effective paragraph. And ito na, ito na. Ayan na, ayan na. Yung sa TikTok, ayan na, ayan na. Compose an effective paragraph. Now, Chutis, alam ko, pinag-aabangan nyo ito, lalong-lalo na yung mga K-pop fans dyan. Now, Chutis, um, we know we're going global, right? And when we say we're going global, we are also establishing connection with our... Uh, with our brothers and sisters, all right, our fellows outside the country. Now, this is what you're going to do. Compose an effective paragraph on how your K-pop idols have influenced you. Sino ba yung mga K-pop idols nyo? Si Lisa ba? Blackpink? BTS? <laughs> wow! Okay, alam ko, mas ma-excite kayo na sumulat. Okay? Just one paragraph, Chuti. Okay? Chutis, one paragraph only. Compose a one effective paragraph on how your K-pop idols have influenced you. A rubric is given so you are guided how you are graded in this activity. You can take a screenshot, Chutis, okay? So, meron siyang corresponding points. Ano dapat yung makikita uh, sa, sa inyong effective paragraph? So, one uh, paragraph, okay? One effective paragraph. It has a topic sentence, the main idea, supporting details, the organization, the mechanics and grammar, and the legibility. Okay po? Ayan! Now, Chutis, don't forget to submit your outputs to Tutor Rubelin with this profile picture, Rubelin Cabardo Pastrano, and Tutor Jovi, Jovet Templado Tempil. And Chutis, you can also actually upload your outputs to Dep and Itulay uh, Facebook page. Alright po? Okay, don't forget, Chutis, always, always remember, okay, at 2.20 to 3 p.m. every Tuesday, because Tuesday is Tuesday English Day, and this is our Tuesday habit with Chutor Rubelin and Chutor Jovi. Catch also our English Junior High School shooters from grade 7 to grade 10. Chutis, gusto po namin marinig ang, ang comments ninyo or suggestions ninyo because you really matter to us. Kayo ang end point namin. Kayo ang naging dahilan kung bakit, naga, kung bakit kami nagpapatuloy dito sa Itulay Online Tutorial Program. And, Chutis, let's do our growth affirmation. So, kindly put your hand, your right hand on your left chest. Sabihin natin. I am Sabihin natin to three times, okay? This is a manifestation. I am grateful for the challenges because they allow me to grow. I am grateful for the challenges because they allow me to grow. I am grateful for the challenges because they allow me to grow. Ayan. But thank you so much, Chutis. My heart is full today as, as always when you are around. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for participating. Ang saya ng session ngayon. Uh, ang dami-dami nating natutunan at I also learned a lot from you. Thank you for sharing about uh, other topic this afternoon. So don't forget, Chutis, kahit English 8 kayo, you can invite your grade 9 schoolmates or friends to watch our English 9 tutor base, tutor Ellie and tutor Job right after this. So stay tuned in everyone and God bless. This is Tutor Jovi guiding bright minds to be English proficient ready ng sasabing pag dinagdaga ng learning, kayo nga dumugtong. <laughs> Dugtungan nyo. Pag dinagdaga ng learning, nagiging mas magaling. Goodbye everyone. I love you po. God bless and keep safe. See you next time. Ang husay naman. Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!